Good morning, my name is Tom Ruin. I'm the broker owner of Ruin Realty. We're a real, residential real estate sales firm and commercial sales and rentals. We do property management and property maintenance. Our business is still open. We are actively selling and listing real property. We have rented apartments, rented offices. We um, have a lot of property maintenance responsibilities which we're taking care of. This obviously is a tax time of year where taxes need to be done for collecting rents. We're working at a safe distance. We have a minimal number of people in the office to accomplish that task. Uh, we have an office space that's over 5,000 square feet, so it's easy for a couple of people to spread out here and not have any safety issues. I think the long-term effect of this pandemic is, uh, number one, a lot of people are embracing technology that have sort of sat on the sidelines before. We've all been on Zoom meetings, whether for business or pleasure, or Easter or birthdays. There's been a lot of use of that tool that many people did not use before. I think there's going to be some efficiencies that come out of that. Um, I have two Zoom meetings today, which allows me to not have to drive somewhere and wait for somebody. The meeting starts at 9 o'clock. If you're not there, you just join later when you get there. But I think it's a time saver, and uh, I think we'll see a lot more use of that. I don't see anything permanent changing that we're already not doing. We're already dealing with electronic or e-signatures. Um, we're already doing stuff remotely. In other words, you might decide to rent a new apartment and we might send you the lease electronically now. You'll look at it. You might not even have a checkbook. So you'd Venmo us the deposit, uh, Venmo us the first month's rent. Um, so I, I think that uh, all of those things have been done before, but I think they're going to be done more often now. I think that, uh, as I said earlier, I think the embracing of the technology is a positive thing, that we'll be using some of these tools. But my business is still, you know, a contact sport. You know, it's a, it's a people business. People need to see the houses. They need to see the offices, they need to see the apartments, they need to walk the land. You know, it's really boots on the ground, physically seeing these things. Not that we haven't sold things where people uh, never went in the house, but that's rare and uh, that's only an occasion where there's a lot of that type of housing stock available. So someone might have been in a house like that before, but they didn't like the design, they didn't like the decorating, it was not well maintained. Now they find one that is, they see the video, they're comfortable, but so much of the housing stock in our area is unique. I don't see much of that going forward. In closing, I just wanna share that, you know, pay attention to your teachers. Take advantage of this time to, as they say, sharpen the pencil, sharpen the ax so that you're more effective. Uh, and for business students, I know that sale, excuse me, sales and marketing are exciting, but pay attention to the math. If the math doesn't work, you'll be out of business, so you need to pay attention to your math. And good luck to you.